All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So today I'm gonna show you and go over how to install a receptacle with one wire in the box. So first you're just gonna pull out your wires right now. Or first of all, pull out your wires. And then you are going to start out with your grounds, or the ground, sorry, all over the place. Um, um, so just gonna take your ground wire and then strip that and curl it. Actually, oh my gosh, this is terrible video. Um, don't strip it, it's already stripped. And then just curl it right there. And then you can go ahead and strip your other wires out. And depending on if you want to stab these in the back, if it's a 14 gauge wire, you can stab it in the back if you want to go that route or if you want a more secure, um, more secure way to do it strip it and curl it and screw it down on the screws um, so it's up to you um, if you're doing 12 gauge wire you're gonna have to um, screw them down on the sides anyways um, because you can't stab 12, wire, 12 gauge wires in the back of plugs anymore i don't think they uh, really make those um, there are different kind of um, there are different kind of plugs where they ha do have plate terminals um, so if you have 12 gauge wire you can just strip them straight and then stick them in on the left side of the screw hole or the slot um, and then tighten them down. So if you're doing 12 gauge wire, that's another option. Um, but if they don't have plate terminals, then you are stripping and curling them. So let's just go ahead and strip these out. I'll show you guys how to curl these just like that, little 180 degrees. That one maybe a little messed up. So strip them and then put it through the hole in your strippers right here. And then a 180 like that. So once you got that, go ahead and put the curl over the screw. And you're gonna want to put the curl going to the right side because when you twist the screw it's going to the right side if you put it on the left side and you tighten it to the right side it's going to back the curl out and then you have a potential of having the wire fall out so just going to want to screw it down on the right side and then put the curl in on the right side and if you need to you can tighten these down a little bit if the loops if the curls are a little bit too um, loose, go ahead and screw that down, and then take your other neutral onto the silver screw. That one is a little bit too loose, or the screw is a little bit too tight, so I'm going to go down to a looser screw, tighten that, crimp that down a little bit, tighten the loop up or the curl. And then before I flip it over, I'm gonna tighten it down with my flat blade screwdriver. Just be careful not to stab your hand. Um, once you get it about maxed out, it's gonna to want to slip out like that. It's always a little bit scary. Like I'm kind of jumping right now. So there we go. Just be careful or wear gloves. And then this one's pretty good. I'm going to Tighten this one down. And then tighten that down with my flat blade. And then you're just gonna wanna fold this back up like an accordion. And just make sure when you put this into the box that your ground wire is not touching um, your other screws, um, like the hots or the neutrals, because um, then it will trip a breaker or explode. So you can either wrap this in tape or just make sure when you put the ground in, you can bend the ground down out of the way like that or put a little 90 in it and then just give it a once over, stick your head back there and look at it, make sure no ground wire is touching any other screws once you screw it down. Um, and if you need to push the ground wire out of the way, you can take your flat blade screwdriver and then push it out of the way. Um, once the plug is installed and you're just going to lastly screw this down to the screw holes I'm going to skip that step, step for right now um, For the sake of the video 
but it's gonna look like that just on the box and with the sheetrock on the wall, of course, unless you're doing an exposed garage or something like this where you don't have any sheetrock. So anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. It would help the channel grow. I'd love to see you guys back in the next video. Don't forget to check the description for anything else and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thanks guys so much. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.